Hello everyone, this is Mr. Ting from Make Scorers. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, so uh, the purpose of today's video is to show you some of the trends of the uh, last year's uh, PSLE map and um, to show you some of the heuristics that were being tested so that you can actually prepare for um, what to focus on for 2019. Alright, to sound this video, uh, what I'm doing is uh, what I'm using is actually this PSLE exam um, book that you can actually buy from popular bookshops or even your school, the child's uh, school's bookshop is widely available but you gotta get them fast because they get ten, they tend to get sold out uh, especially towards the end of the uh, year and closer towards PSLE. So, let's get inside. So you click the correct year and you'll be able to see the, um, the questions. So, uh, what are some of the trends that we see last year is that there are now more application type of questions as compared to maybe like last year, right? For example, now what do I mean by application type of question? For example, we're going to see things like this. Uh, this is like, a, what is the length of the paper clip, right? So this is like an application, you gotta apply your knowledge, not so much of regurgitation. Likewise, is all this, so that's the first trend. We see a lot of applications, not just in multiple choice questions, but uh, even in the problem sums which we'll be going through. So you see a lot of applications, even though they still use the different types of concepts, right? In Chinese here, I can hear the line dance going on. So we see a lot of application questions. Now what does it mean uh, for you if there are a lot more application questions? It means that your rote learning is not going to be so useful as compared to previously. So let's take a look, continue to see. Paper two. Now, uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is the type of heuristics that's being tested. So, if we look at the paper one, uh, in fact, there's not much heuristics being tested except for um, this one. So, there's one particular question. Uh, as we go along, uh, I will also note down the different types of heuristics that was tested so that we can keep track. So, the first heuristic that I see, that I saw, um, is from this question. This is Sally had 40 stems, Ting had 32 stems, etc. So what type of heuristic is this? This is actually the before and after. So if you knew, if your child knew, knows before and after, it would be actually pretty simple. In fact, uh, can you identify what type of heuristic this is? Sally had 40 stems, Ting had 32. After Sally gave some thing, the total number when the ratio is to 2. So this is actually a uh, before and after different uh, sorry, total unchanged before and after total unchanged question now the next heuristic that I saw is here so uh, this, this particular one Nora used one feet kilogram of flour to make muffins half kilogram to make cookies so what type of heuristic is this this is an equal concept where you have to make the denominator the same because both the 5 and the 2, they are referring to the same uh, packet of flour. So moving on, um, I see another heuristic here. This is about the this one, the one over here. So there's an equal number, she gave away 2 thirds of a sticker, one quote, okay, something like a, a remainder, remainder concept, remainder concept. Question, and that's it. You know, for the paper one, there's just 3. Three heuristics. Next, paper two. So paper two, as mentioned, there are a lot of application type of questions where um, you know I don't really see a lot of heuristics going on. How about here, no nope, application. You see, a lot of application. This is a uh, this whole question application type of question. Likewise, for here, this is like the uh, overlapping uh, area. You saw two questions with overlapping area now. Uh, how about the one over here? Now this is one, this one, the Mr. Tan. Now this question, uh, if you want, you can actually use the um, value and units to try, but uh, intuitively, I would use guess and check. I think that could be faster. I wouldn't waste time thinking of what heuristic to use. Should we go to guess and check? Application, application. As I mentioned, a lot of application questions. So if you are uh, flexible, 
you the student has to be flexible. You do application questions. See all these are application charts. Plenty of chart questions. Okay, one heuristic that I saw is over here, the end question. This one. 285 red and blue bits used for the five red, 40% of the blue after that are before and after. This is a before and after uh, units and parts. Why units and parts? Because use 45 red, 40% 40 of the blue. So both have changed. At first you have a total number, but you use both. So this is a units and parts. Before and after. Uh, one of the most difficult type of before and after to use, to do. Next. Oh, nothing much. No heuristics. Application again. And that's actually the most difficult one. Okay. So I'm going to make another video to show you how uh, this can be done but this is there's no particular heuristics involved in this particular question. So just to keep track, uh, summarize what we have seen. Uh, we have seen more, we have seen before and after, total unchanged, we have seen uh, this one, this one is a before and after, um, units and parts, the most difficult one, just about four types. Of before and after uh, heuristic, sorry, two types of before and after, and then we have equal concept as well as this a remainder concept. Okay, remainder concept, equal concept. So all in all, uh, I think they account for about ten or maybe like less than twenty marks. Okay, so heuristics are now less than twenty marks, and in fact, the bigger portion of it is application. So what does this tell us about what we need to focus on? I think the direction is very clear. You have to know your heuristics pretty well. If you know your heuristics well, you will be able to solve the question. However, uh, your focus should still be on application. Your focus should still be on um, this uh, flexibility because uh, after all, math is about flexibility, application, usability, not rote learning to make, um, even though it, it's going to make your life easier when you know the different types of heuristics. However, uh, it, you have to be flexible. The child has to be flexible. So as we go along, uh, when I have more time, I will come up with videos on how to solve the heuristics as well as uh, how we can very very quickly solve 2018 PSLE math paper. Thank you for watching.